What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to Redline Revs and in this video we'll be talking about how to properly warm up and cool down your forced induction turbocharged vehicles. Um, now I'm going to say it lay on Mark 1 Cupra R here but this actually applies to any turbocharged vehicle. Now the first thing you need to make sure you do is uh, never run the car on boost until it's properly warmed up. Um, and the way that you know that you warmed up is when your coolant gauge there um, reaches the, the, the middle of the temperature gauge. Um, so when you start up, <clears throat> you just want to keep it under boost. Uh, in, in this case, that's around 2000 RPM. Uh, you might want to be in a slightly higher gear or so uh, to, to keep the revs low. And just don't run it under boost. Don't start pushing it when you get in it straight away. Wait for the coolant temperature gauge to get to temperature. And then once it's reached there, you probably want to wait uh, maybe another couple of minutes uh, because what this is indicating is your coolant uh, temperature and uh, it might take a minute or two longer for your oil temperature to reach uh, that stage as well. Um, now, the reason that you want to wait for that is, well, twofold. Like any car, if you start ragging it as soon as you get in while it's cold and the engine hasn't warmed up, it hasn't um, circulated around the system, it's not properly uh, lubricating all of the engine components and it can lead to increased engine wear. But also, if you have a uh, turbocharged vehicle, then when you start the car um, and it's cold, um, then basically it doesn't have oil in the turbo. If you start blasting it, then you're running a dry turbo. If that spools up, it can cause damage to the turbo, which can be very expensive to, to, to fix. Um, and also the oil in the turbo, you want it to be warm and at temperature as well. Now, a lot of people know about this. What people tend to neglect is that you should actually cool down a turbocharged vehicle as well before you shut the engine off. Um, so towards the end of the journey, maybe the last five or 10 minutes, before you reach destination, you might want to drive normally rather than like a hooligan to allow the uh, uh, cooler oil to, to circulate around the turbo. Um, also, when you reach your destination, you might want to just leave the car parked with the engine running uh, for maybe uh, you know two to five minutes or so, um, just to ensure that when you do such uh, switch the engine off, that you're not trapping that hot oil inside your turbo cool uh, turbocharger, um, which can lead to uh, faster deterioration of the oil seals and things within the turbo itself. So. That's how you should properly warm up and cool down a turbocharged engine um, every time that you drive the car. If you stick to that routine, then um, you can ensure a nice long life of your turbo and not have to have a, uh, a costly turbo replacement job um, early on. So thanks for watching. Make sure you comment, rate and subscribe. Stay tuned. There's a lot 